Warriors, we are live from the quarantine. And I'm super excited to be here this Saturday morning. So we're gonna be doing a uh, Tabata workout today. So if you have um, some dumbbells, that'd be great. If you have a kettlebell, that would be great. Um, uh, we can use either of those items for this workout. Um, uh, there's just a few um, um, exercises in this workout that we'll actually need that for. So, um, We'll be getting after that here in a second. And uh, instead of a story of the day, I'm just gonna t talk about some announcements, especially since we're coming quickly upon June that begins on Monday. Um, I sent out uh, a text yesterday to the Warriors regarding um, a webinar that Josh is gonna do at 6 p.m. on Wednesday night. And that is going to be in regards to um, emotional eating. And then um, we have our June program video um, where Josh introduces what we're what we're talking about, what we're trying to concentrate on for the month of June, and I will be sending out that video today. Um, in that video, it also includes kind of like what we know right now as far as re we re reopening, and what we know is we don't know a lot about reopening because we're still waiting on getting information from the county, which is going to be uh, next Friday, um, where we'll hopefully get more information on, from the county as far as that reopening plan is concerned. But if you do have questions after you watch the video with Coach Josh regarding the June program, come onto that call on Wednesday and at the end uh, he'll have a Q&A time uh, for any questions about anything, not just about emotional eating. So we have that. And then we also have our book club book of the month, which is called Atomic Habits and how tiny, tiny little habits can make such a huge, huge difference. You don't have to make like these huge, massive habit changes, but just like what one little habit change can do to make um, massive differences. So we got that going on. We will also be announcing our next movie night, regardless of whether or not it is a Netflix movie or whether it's at our apartment building um, that has kind of opened up. Um, they have some community spaces that have opened up 10 person capacity per per community area but that's where we usually have our movie night um so we'll be we'll be thinking and discussing that um and uh we're gonna go ahead and i think uh that's most of the announcements uh for regarding the beginning of june um we'll be as we have been updating um all the workouts uh before the week starts and we'll we will also be having a uh, new uh homework uh, for the month of June. So that will also be on the Warrior Vault where we post the workouts for the month. So guys, let's go ahead and get after it. Hopefully you have water. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start in our quadruped position. We're gonna start with hip circles. So I'm gonna go knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Now I'm just making sure that I'm keeping that leg at, at a right angle as I do this, all right? I'm not extending that leg out all right, keeping it in tight, trying to get these really big movements with my knee, drawing that big circle with my knee, all right? So let's go ahead and do five forward like this. And then we're gonna go five back. Guys, if, it's, if it continues to thunder, I might cry out in excitement throughout this workout. So don't, don't be shocked, don't be surprised. Four and five. All right, then we're gonna do leg lifts. Two, three, four. Keeping it in that glute. Don't let that hip rotate up. Taking it to the other side. Oof, yeah. Definitely feeling the effects of sitting at my desk for most of the day on my poor little hips. Definitely try to get out and walk though. That's been huge as far as clearing out my brain cobwebs. All right, let's take it back the other way. Two, three, ah, four, and five. All right, let's go ahead and Get that leg lift in there. Two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and sit back on our heels. Just wanna do some very, very gentle wrist circles here for a second. Rotating the one way. I'm not going fast with this. I'm just being really gentle, really slow. And then I'm gonna take it the other way. 
about five times. Five. All right, while I'm in this position, I'm going to come into a taller kneeling position. My thumbs come out to the side, my arms are strong, and then I'm going to go into my neck circles, going one way first, being really gentle with that neck. I like to draw a circle with the top of my head. Go five one way. All right, and then we're gonna hit five the other way. Three, four, and five. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and go into our lat stretch. So what I'm doing is I'm sitting back on my heels, I'm up on my toes, bringing my hands in front of me, pushing my butt back under those heels. I'm gonna take one of my hands, I'm gonna reach through that arm and try to get that, that shoulder to touch the ground. And I'm gonna hold it here for a second, breathing in and out, and then I'm gonna rotate away. All right, following that elbow with my eye, I'm gonna come back under, Hold it here for a second. I'm gonna rotate away. One more time. And rotate. All right, guys, let's take it to the other side. Reaching through, hold it here, making sure my butt is pushed back on those heels and rotate out. Come back through. Whoo, yeah. Rotate out. See how far you can get down each time. Maybe you can get a little bit further by getting that shoulder to the ground. Rotate and give me one more. All right. Guys, let's go ahead and we're gonna lay down on our bellies. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my right hand next to my right shoulder. My left hand is gonna extend out. I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna to try to reach over to that hand. I don't have to touch that hand. I'm just trying to get this really nice pec stretch. I should get a nice stretch in my, in my glute also, in my legs. Breathing into it. I have my foot behind me flat on the ground. See what you can do with that. See if you can get, get that foot flat. Maybe you're just touching that toe. Maybe your leg actually is extended up. That's okay, just get that stretch. Breathing into it. All right, let's go ahead and take it to the other side. Arm extends out, leg comes over. Breathing. Feeling that stretch, feeling where you feel the stretch. Hopefully in that shoulder, and that pec. All right. Let's go ahead and we're gonna stand it up. We're gonna do some nice, big, slow arm circles. Two, three, four, five. Take it the other way. One, two, three. Take it slow. Get it big. Really reach behind you. Four, five. All right. Let's go into this horizontal plane. Three, four, five. We'll go into a vertical plane. Let's get my arms up. Just letting them swing. I'm not forcing this. I'm just letting them swing. Just getting him to loosen up. All right. Let's go into that squat with hamstring bias. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my deep squat and then I'm going to reach and reach. And then I'm going to straighten those legs. Woo! My hammies are tight today. Feel that stretch. Let the weight of your upper body pull you down. Come back into it, get deep. Rotate, rotate, straighten those legs. Woo! 
Maybe you're getting a little deeper this time. Just let that lower back relax. Come back. One more. And stretch. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to do one more. So we're going to go into our high plank. We're going to go into our pigeon stretch. So I'm going to bring my knee in between my hands and then I'm going to keep this back leg active, keeping that knee off the ground. And then I'm going to take this hip and rotate it towards the ground, getting those hips to level out. I'm going to hold that here. I'm going to breathe into it. Okay, coming up, switching out, bringing that oh, other knee in, keep that back leg active, and then rotate that hip towards that foot that's underneath you. Breathe into it. Yeah, nice. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and do a couple shin boxes. So I have my shin straight out in front of me. And then, guys, what I want to do is I'm going to bring my belly button and point it over that knee. And then I'm just going to lean over. So guys, I don't want you to curve your back with this. I want you to keep that back really flat. So you might not get as deep, but hopefully you really feel this in that outside thigh. Hold it there for a second. Let's transition to the other side. Again, belly button points over that leg. Lean it over. Oh, yeah. Feeling all the feels this morning. Feeling all the tightness. Let's get one more on each side. Love these shin boxes. Yeah. Breathe into it. Big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Take it to the other side. Uh. Awesome. All right, guys. Next, as far as our warm up is concerned, we are going to go through every exercise in our Tabata as far as our warm up, and then we're just going to make sure that we have all of our equipment, everything all ready and settled so that when we actually go into the Tabata, we are good to go. So, for the first um, exercise in the Tabata, we're going to be doing split squats. So go ahead and get up on that back toe so that heel is raised throughout. You're locking out both of your legs at the top. Your upper torso stays straight. As you come into this 90-90 with those legs, all right, go ahead, give me five on the one side, four, and five really lock out those legs at the top okay and then give me five on the other side up on that up on that back toe coming down lock it out coming down boom you're really bringing thinking about locking out those legs getting strong with those legs four and five then you're going to grab a weight either a dumbbell or a kettlebell or something and then we're going to go into our pullover. So your legs are going to be at a 90 degree. I want you to make sure you're thinking about getting that back flat the entire time. All right, I'm going to raise my weight over my head. I'm going to bring it over my chest. Keep pushing that back into the ground. All right, two, three, four, Five, let's go ahead and do 10, six. Get those arms as straight as you can. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, if your dumbbells are too light, you can do two. Um, I'm just gonna do that one. And then our next exercises are gonna be RDLs. So you can grab your kettlebell or two dumbbells or however you wanna do this. We're gonna narrow up those feet. We're gonna squeeze those glutes at the top. We're gonna to hinge over, all right? So I'm really pulling that butt to that back wall. 
I'm going to play with the bend in my legs as far as my physiology is concerned in order to get those hamstrings to activate. I want to feel this in my, in my hamstrings as I'm bent over. And then I'm going to really squeeze those glutes forward at the top, locking out those legs, feel it in the glute, come back down. Don't curve that back. Don't lose those lats. Keep those lats super activated. Getting those hands below the knees. Go ahead and give me 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. So guys, with this, I don't want you to think about speed as much as really thinking about these areas that we're trying to activate and get the most out of each of these exercises as possible. Then we're going to go into our push-up. So whether or not you're doing an elevated push-up, a push-up from the floor, you can even do an eccentric push-up where you go very, very slow and control down, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. And then if you haven't hit a strict push-up yet, you just assist yourself back up. And again, a slow lower down, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Or just a strict push-up, keeping those elbows in tight, keeping that body on or elevated. Whichever version you're doing, make sure that you get that chest to touch the ground. Or if you're using a resistance band, don't cheat yourself on those guys. So go ahead and give me 10 right now, whichever version you're doing. And don't lose those abs. Don't let the butt dip. All right, my shoulder's still feeling funky, so I'm probably just gonna do elevated today again. And then we have our T-spine plank. One of my favorites. So my feet are out wide for stability. I'm actually on my forearms, rotating that elbow up and back down. Elbow up and back down. Follow that elbow with the eye keeping that shoulder over that elbow. Don't let that butt come up. Don't push back. Go ahead and give me five on each side. All right. Nice. Next exercise is going to be our kneeling overhead press. So we're going to be in this tall kneeling position. My knees are at about as wide as my hips for stability. Then I'm going to have my hands facing you, elbows in tight at the bottom, then come out at the top, in at the bottom, out at the top. So what I mean by in at the bottom is don't have your elbows stop here. Bring them all the way into your body and then power up. Guys, get those glutes on. This should be an easier way for you to activate the, those glutes. Sometimes when we're standing, we're cheating. And we're not activating those glutes, but hopefully this is a little bit more automatic for you. Go ahead, give me 10. Eight, nine, and 10. Woo! Everything's feeling heavy this morning. <laughs> yeah, all right. So we're going to go ahead and go into our scissor kicks right now. So for my scissor kick, I'm either going to have my hands out to the side or I'm going to put them underneath my butt for some lower back stability. It's up to you. Then we're going to raise our legs and we're going to cross them over each other. Okay. So guys, this is a lower abdomen exercise and we're crossing those legs, feeling this in our lower abs. Go ahead and give me five on each side. And five. Nice. Then we have our lateral lunge and return. So when we're in the Tabata itself, you'll do all your lateral lunges on one side. The next time we do lateral lunges, 
you're going to do them all on the other side. So right now, go ahead, bring that butt to that back wall, come back in, stay on the one side, give me five. Keep that back flat. And five, taking it to the other side. Really pull that butt back to that back wall. Four and five. Awesome. Guys, now we have our knee grab. So let's go ahead and do 10 knee grabs. Legs are out straight to start. Arms are in tight to the chest. Coming up, getting those feet flat at the top. Get those shoulders over those hips. Come back down, touch the shoulder blades. You don't have to fully extend. Come up, give me 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ha ha, nine, and 10. Always finish on the down. Then we have our kneeling curls. Going back into that kneeling position, really squeezing those glutes. Have those palms facing out, in, up and down. There we go. Again, my elbows bother me a little bit, so I'm gonna do hammer curls. All right, with full extension at the bottom. Go ahead and give me 10, four, Five, don't rock it. Don't let that body sway. Don't throw those weights up. Slow and controlled. If your weight is too heavy, just use one. That's fine. Your grip is gonna be a little bit more narrow. Don't worry about it, it's all right. All right. And that is all of the exercises in our Tabata. So let's get it, go ahead and get some water. All right, guys, so for our first circuit in the Tabata. We're going to be doing split squats. So we're going to do all the split squats on one side. Then we're going to do our pullovers. So we're going to go onto the ground. Legs are going to be at that 90 degree with the weight over our head, pushing that lower back into the ground. When we come back up, we're doing the split squats on the other side. So try to remember what you started with and then switch it out. We're gonna be doing this for four minutes, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. All right? And we're going into it in three, two, one, go. I'm actually gonna grab a weight for this. You can grab a weight in either hand. You can do a goblet style like this. Whichever way you're doing, even if it's body weight, I want you to really concentrate on getting those legs locked out. I want you to feel every fiber and go into our pullover. All right, getting set up. We got three seconds left. Getting my lower back pushed into the ground. Trying to get as straight with those arms as possible. Getting that nice shoulder stretch. When I'm back, you wanna make this a little bit harder. You can bring those legs a little bit further away from you. Two, one. All right, going into my split squat on the other side. All right, switching out my legs, and here we go. These are also called 90-90s, where both our legs are kind of at a 90 degree angle at the bottom. My front knee is coming over my ankle, and that is fine. Getting a nice little ankle mobility in there. Three seconds left. Two. Got it. Going back into my pullovers. So get set up. Push that lower back into the ground. And we're going. The further away your legs are from that 90 degree, the more stress you're gonna get on those abs. A little bonus. And switching it out. Going back to the original 
leg that we started with. And we're going. All right. So trying to get that back knee about an inch off the ground. Ha ha. Really feeling it, guys. And going back to our pullovers. Pullovers. You got this. Get that lower back. I have to remind myself to really push that lower back into the ground every time. Slow and controlled. Thinking about where I'm feeling this. Awesome. Guys, this is gonna be our last set of each of these exercises. And we're going. Boom, locking it out. Yeah. Ha. Four seconds left. You got this. Our last set of pullovers. Last set. Last set. Getting that lower back. I say it a lot because I need to remember to get that lower back into the ground when I start and throughout this entire exercise. Really activating those abs as you're pushing that lower spine into the ground. All right, guys, we get to rest now. Yay. So grab some liquid as you rest. I'll talk you through the next two exercises. So we got our RDLs. Again, if you have like one really heavy dumbbell, that's great. You can also use a kettlebell or you can have your two dumbbells. And my feet are a little bit more narrow, about hip width apart, squeezing those glutes. I turn on my lats before I ever even bend over, getting down below my knees, pulling that butt to the back wall and really squeezing those glutes at the top. Power up out of it and bring those hips forward. So we have that. And then we have our push-ups, whichever variety of push-ups that you're doing, okay? So if you find yourself starting with strict push-ups and your form wavers throughout this Tabata, go to an elevated surface, that's fine. The most important thing is keeping perfect form, all right? It's not the amount of reps, it's the, uh, it's the quality of the exercise, okay? So we've got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna go into it, we're gonna start with our RDLs in three, two, one, and hit it. All right, coming over, keeping those lats engaged. Don't curve that back. Pull that butt to that back wall. Feel those hamstrings. And switch it out to our push-ups. All right, we have about three seconds left. And going for it. Coming all the way down to that surface. I like to think of myself as one solid trunk, one solid piece of wood that cannot bend as I lower myself in one solid piece and I come back up as opposed to having my upper torso come up at a different time, getting ready for our RDLs and going for it. Two, three, why am I counting? Don't need to count. Just going by seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. Going back into my push ups. And getting after it. Guys, keep those elbows in tight or at a 45. 
Do not let those elbows come out to the sides. And what I mean by that is don't let those elbows travel out next to your shoulders or in line with your shoulders. That's gonna cause a lot of shoulder tension. We're either here or we're here. We're never here. That's how a lot of people were taught. It causes so much stress on those shoulders. RDLs. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, Alrighty then. Going back to our push ups. My butt is slightly raised so that I don't lose those abs. And I'm really thinking about rotating those shoulder blades. So I'm really activating those lats. Three seconds left. Like I'm opening jars, all right? Really utilizing the power and strength that we have in those huge lat muscles. Boom. Lock out those legs. Bring those hips forward powerfully. Boom. Doesn't matter if you got 10 pound weights in your hand, if you're doing 200 pound deadlifts, the form is the same. Getting that really, really strong forward momentum with the lockout of those hips. All right, guys. This is our last set. Best set. Yep. Turn those lats on. They are your friends. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, we're going to rest for a second. I have an awesome story about one of our warriors that was telling me that she has moved to the, uh, the uh, red resistance band when she's doing her push-ups and she can get five. That red resistance band barely gives you any sort of aid. And, uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, if she can do five with the resistance band, she totally could just do one we get so used to these tools or we get so used to doing elevated push-ups that we forget to go down in our in our um, height to get stronger that's one of the beauties of those of those um, eccentric push-ups where we're slowly lowering ourselves to the ground it's a great great strength builder every once in a while guys just test and see if you can just do that one push-up don't think about doing 10 just think about doing one all right and then just keep trying Maybe once a week, seeing where you're at, all right? You might be surprised. All right. So for our next set, we're gonna be doing our T-spine planks. So I'm on my forearms, my feet are wide for hip stability. I'm rotating and I'm rotating. Throwing those bows, throwing those elbows into the air. And then conveniently, I'm on the ground for my kneeling overhead press. All right, so elbows in, palms facing you, squeezing those glutes the entire time. Again, guys, if your form wavers or if your weight becomes really heavy, just grab one, that's fine. You could also do this with a resistance band around your knees, pushing up, that's no big deal either. There's so many different varieties to any of these exercises. All I want is really, really good form, okay? So, we're gonna hit it. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boo. And we're starting with our T-spine planks in three, two, one, go. Following those elbows with your eyes. Boom, yeah, all right. Going into my kneeling overhead press. Two, one, 
Lock it out. Lock out those arms at the top. Get down low with those elbows in tight to your rib cage at the bottom. Lock out those glutes. Feel that strength in those legs. All right. Going back into my T-spine plank here in about four seconds. And we're going for it. Get that full rotation. Boom. Boom. Ah. All right, guys. You got this. And going back into our overhead press from a kneeling position. I love this. I love these kneeling position exercises. Really helps me remember to squeeze those glutes, getting the pillar of my body super strong and active. Got about five seconds left. Whew. Yeah. All right. Going back into our kneeling, I'm sorry, our T-spine planks. And hitting it. Guys, keeping that butt about the same level as our shoulders. All right, don't push back on this. All right, we're staying, keeping those shoulders over those elbows. Ha. All right, going back into our kneeling overhead press in three seconds. Squeeze those glutes. Boom. Here we go. This is our last set. No, it's not. This is our second to the last set. <laughs> Fooled you. Ha ha. Were you paying attention? Yee. <laughs> Two, one. All right. Now, this is our last set of each. Last set. Best set. And we're going. Make it strong. Get that full rotation. Open up that chest. All right, guys. Five seconds. I forgot to mention at the beginning that while you're doing this Tabata, if you're getting super gassed, you can go ahead and take a rest. You can delete one of the rounds. Catch your breath. That is perfectly fine. Ha. You got this. I don't know, you might be feeling this about now. Get those glutes on. Ah. There we go. Rest time. Water time. Hammer time. Woo. All right. Okay, guys. This one is where we're doing the scissor kick. So we're on the ground. And if you want to support your lower back, you can always put your hands behind your butt or have your hands out to the side. You're going to feel this pushing that lower back into the ground, raising those legs and bringing those legs across each other. All right. Back and forth. Slow and controlled, right? Don't do it fast. Get a little bit of inner thigh work with that. And then we have our lateral lunge and return. So for the first time that we're doing this, we're gonna do all on one side, lunge, get deep. Then we're gonna go into our scissor kicks and then we're gonna go into the lateral lunge on the other side scissor kicks back and forth. So remember which side that you did it on first. All right. So we're going to be starting here with our scissor kicks. I'm going to get set up on the ground. Hopefully you got some water. Guys, got, got a little bit of rest. And we're going for it in three, two, one, go. Legs are up. 
push that lower back into the ground. Feel that lower abdomen really working as you're bringing those legs out. I want you to keep strong legs as they go out and in. All right, standing up, just doing our lateral lunge to one side only, lateral lunge and return. Now, if you want, you can grab a weight, hold it in this position close to your chest, just making sure that with this, you're pulling that butt to that back wall, getting deep with it, all right? Okay, now I'm going back to my scissor kicks. All right, pushing that lower back into the ground, feeling those abs activate, and boom. Keep those legs strong. We wanna get as much from each of these exercises as possible, so it's not just about the lower abs, it's also about those legs. All right, so hopefully you remembered which side you started with those lateral lunges, because now we're gonna go to the other side. And we're going for it. Whew. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Again, keeping that back flat. Three seconds left. Going back into our scissor kicks. Really digging these scissor kicks, guys. Here we go. Lower back into the ground, legs raised, and going for it. Strong legs, strong abs. Slow and controlled. Don't get through it, get from it. Yeah? All right, going back to the original side for those lateral lunges. Wah! You got this, guys. All right. This is our last set of each. Last set, best set. All right. And getting that lower back into the ground. Feel those legs pull and cross and then out. And doing our last Lateral lunge and return. All right. Two, one. Woo. Ha ha. Guys, you got this, you got this. Feel all the wonderful benefits of these lateral lunges. Okay. Now we rest. Yay! Before we go into our last set of exercises for our Tabata, now we have our knee grab. On the ground, legs are straight. Using my shins to help me up. Coming back down, just touching those shoulder blades. Coming back up and back down. Might increase my speed a little bit with those knee grabs. And then I have my kneeling curls, which I'm only gonna do slow and controlled. So I'm in that kneeling position, my glutes are on, my pelvis is forward, and then doing those curls. Again, I'm gonna do hammer curls because my elbow is bugging me. All right. So actually guys, we're gonna go right into it. Okay, getting in position for my knee grabs. Three, two, one, get it. 
Boom. Making sure to get those feet flat on the ground at the top. Don't let them hover in the air like, like they're kind of like a, like a bug that can't roll over, all right? Get forward with it. All right. Now we're going into our kneeling curls. All right, bringing that, getting those glutes on. And we're going for it. Staying as solid as possible. Try not to rock in full extension. I don't want like three quarters of the way down and then you go back up again. I want the full extent of the movement. All right, knee grabs. Let's do some knee grabs. And go for it. Boom. Yeah. Love these knee grabs. I like to widen up my knees a little bit at the top to get my shoulders over those hips. Gives me a nice little stretch at the top. Yeah. All right. Come back into it. I haven't heard any thunder. I heard like three thunder claps this morning. Got me so excited. Ah. That was one of my favorite things living in the Midwest. Sleeping, having some big, huge thunderstorm come through. Ah. Wonderful. All right. Guys, we're going back into it with our knee grabs. Get it, get it, get it. Ah. Ah. I thought I was going to be going a little bit faster than I am. Just doing what I can. All right. Again, squeezing those glutes, guys. We got this. Feel this in those biceps. Fast up, go slow down. Fast up, slow down. Get as much from this exercise as possible. Three, two, one. Yeah. All right, this is our last set of each of these exercises. Last set. Best set. Boom. Boom. Ah, two, one. Yes. All right. You got this, guys. Kneeling curls. Gotta love them. Feeling like a badass. <laughs> and we're done with those. Woo! All right. Grab some water. Go right into our homework. Then I'm gonna get you on your happy Saturday way. Guys, I'm so happy. It's raining today. Got a lot of work to do in the dojo. Gets a little warm in here. This rain's a nice little break, all right? So, I'm gonna go into our Cossack lunge. Getting deep with it, all right? Going deep, getting that toe to point up to the ceiling, coming back up. Getting over, get down. Try to get that, that, that hamstring to get close to that calf. 10 on each side. This is our last day of this homework. But remember, if you ever feel not motivated to do a workout, just do a workout snack. That's totally fine. The homework from this month, the homework from last month, such good workout snacks. Just get moving. Maybe it'll even 
make you feel like, eh, maybe I can do a full circuit. You know, just that little bit of movement, priming that pump, you know? Uh, I was talking to Patty. Patty was saying every morning when she's booting up her computer, which takes a little bit, a little bit of time, that's when she does her homework, which is what a great idea, you know? Not sure how many I've just done. Go ahead and do one more on each side. Then I'm gonna go into my four point hip mobility. Hip mob. We got this, all right. Up, we're keeping those knees up from the ground. Swing that knee out as you touch that back foot. Slow and controlled, 10 on each side. Four, five. You should really feel this, activate your abs as you keep your hips stable. Ten. All right. And then we have our archer plank. One of my favorite things that we've done this month. Drawing that arm up, drawing it back down. Oops. The timer's gonna be going off. You guys continue. Slow and controlled with this, guys. Follow that hand with your eyes. Ah, and 10. Woo! Yeah story of the day was about all of our different announcements for the month, how we're still waiting on Multnomah County to tell us what the plan is. But in the meantime, we can possibly answer some of your questions. Um, and we're going to be doing that after our um, emotional eating webinar that's going to happen on 6 p.m. on Wednesday night. Looking forward to seeing all your beautiful faces on that Zoom call. Um, we'll send out a reminder on Wednesday, but we just sent out that text, that invite yesterday. Also talking about book club. The next book is Atomic Habits. I'll let you know when that's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that. I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna be talking about that maybe first week in July, giving people time to listen and or read to it. And then today I'm gonna be sending out that video of Josh talking about what we're doing in June. So as far as programming is concerned, and everything like that. So guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Yay, what a Saturday. Um, uh, I'm happier than a pig in poop right now. As I was walking over to the dojo, um, there was uh, lightning and thunder. I love thunder, I got so excited. It's definitely one of the things that I miss about the Midwest is just uh, thunderstorms and the, uh, the epicness of it. Um,